In his opening keynote address, Salesforce's billionaire founder Mark Benioff said his company had restructured by setting up an office of ethical and humane technology. He also had harsh words for the tech industry just a day after Instagram's founders made the decision to leave their parent company, Facebook. We're watching for companies who are not listening to their key stakeholders, not listening to their customers, not listening to their employees, not listening to the kids. And for then, we watch the executives walk out, the employees walk out, the customers walk out as a vote of no confidence against their values. Benioff called for a higher responsibility, especially as artificial intelligence gets released into the world. On Dreamforce's expo floor, responsibility was also a hot topic among partners and peers. Nintex automates numerous processes, including contracts, which means their algorithms could possibly approve your credit card application or even a loan. How do you make sure when a computer is making a decision um, that it's doing so appropriately? One of the things you can do is in, you know, approach it in that way where, hey, on really clear-cut things, maybe let an algorithm make a decision. But on anything in the gray area, you can still route it to a human being. Dreamforce was filled with lectures on everything from training AI algorithms to weed out bias to this session entitled How to Stop Technology from Destabilizing the World. The founder of the Center for Humane Technology used the example of former President Obama photos, pointing out that none of these were real. Dreamforce, perhaps more than any other major tech conference in the San Francisco Bay Area, places a huge emphasis on giving back. And an important part of that is making sure the next generation has the skills and resources to thrive in the new economy. At this event, Benioff announced that Salesforce was donating over $15 million to San Francisco and Oakland public schools. Companies cannot sit on the moral sidelines any longer. That companies have a responsibility and a need to take positions. Did you ever think you'd have a conference, a tech conference, that would talk about the dangers of tech? Isn't that ironic to you? Well, you know, when people, when we started our company, you know, we wanted to be a role model of what is ethical and good. But in today's world, technology has become the center of everything we do. So you have to ask the question, are we using technology for good or bad? The reality is technology is never good or bad. It's what you do with it that matters. Benioff says he's hoping Salesforce's new Office of Ethics and Humane Technology will serve as a model for other companies to re-examine their values. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.